Hey everybody, welcome again to another one of my math videos. This is my second video on how to find the equation of a line. In my first video, I taught you how to find the equation giving the slope and one point. Um, in this particular video, I'm going to teach you how to find the equation of a line uh, given two points. And if you notice the directions, it says find the equation of the line containing the points negative one, negative two, and one four. And it also says to express your answer in point slope form and to also express your answer in slope intercept form. And like I said in my first video, you always need two pieces of information to find the equation of a line. Um, in this particular video, it's two points. In my first video, it's a slope and a point. Uh, but you always need two pieces of information uh, to find the equation of a line. Uh, so let's just get started with this example right away. And I wrote the directions for you on the left hand side of the screen. And if you notice, the directions for this particular example are exactly the same in my previous example when I gave you the slope and the point. Um, so the directions for finding the equation of a line uh, never change, they're always the same. And the first step, in number one, is to find the slope. Um, and when you're given two points, like in this problem, uh, you need to use the slope equation in order to find the slope of this particular line. Um, so the equation for finding the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And slope is always written with m. Now I'm just going to rewrite the two points that were given to us in the beginning of the problem. Our first point was negative 1, negative 2, and our second point was positive 1 and positive 4. And for the first point, I'm going to make the x value for the first point our x1, and I'm going to make the y value for our first point our y1. And for our second point, I'm going to make the x value our x2, and I'm going to make the y value for our second point our y2. Um, so now I'm going to plug in all my values to find my slope. So we have y2 minus y1. Our y2 is going to be 4 minus y1, and our y1 is negative 2. You can never have two negatives next to each other, so that's why I put a parenthesis around the negative 2. Divided by x2 minus x1, our x2 is 1 minus x1, and our x1 value is negative 1. Now you want to simplify this as much as possible. Uh, whenever you have two negatives next to each other, that's the same as a positive. So we have 4 plus 2 is positive 6. And we have 1 plus 1, which is positive 2. And 6 over 2 can be simplified even further to 3. So now that we have found our slope, we can move on to step number 2. And we want to use our point-slope formula. And our point-slope formula is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And the purpose of this point-slope formula is we want to fill in our values for y1, for our slope, and for our x1. And we know what all these values are already. We know that our slope, our m, is 3. We have our y1, which is negative 2. And we have an x1 of negative 1. So let's just plug everything into our equation. We have y minus y1. Our y1 is negative 2. Is equal to our m. We know our m, which is our slope. We calculated that to be 3. 
multiplied by x minus x1, and we know that our x1 is negative 1. So now let's just simplify this a little further. We know that two negatives make a positive, and so I'm going to rewrite instead of y minus negative 2, I'm just going to write y plus 2 is equal to 3 parentheses, and once again, two negatives make a positive. So x minus negative 1 is the same as x plus 1. And now we have written the equation in point-slope form. So now I have wrote for you the answer in point-slope form. However, sometimes your textbooks ask you to write your answer in slope-intercept form. So in order to change it from point-slope form to slope-intercept form, I wrote the directions for you in step number three. And in order to do that, you want to solve for y to change the formula into slope-intercept form. So in other words, in order to change this into slope-intercept form, you just want to solve for y. You want to get y by itself. Okay? Um, so in order to do that, uh, the first thing I would probably do, you don't have to do it in this particular order, uh, but the first thing I like to do is I want to distribute this 3 with the x and the 1. So the left-hand side of the equation stays the same. y plus 2 is equal. 3 multiplied by x is 3x. And 3 multiplied by 1 is positive 3. And once again, I want to get y by itself for slope-intercept form. Um, so to get y by itself, I want to subtract 2 from each side to get y by itself. So now the 2's cancel out. And we get y by itself on the left-hand side is equal to 3x and a positive 3 minus 2 gives us a positive 1. And this gives us our answer in slope-intercept form. So once again, I really hope this video helped you understand how to find the equation of a line. If you need any extra help uh, with live tutoring or homework solutions, uh, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Once again, mathmeeting.com. Also, if you like the way I teach, if you like my videos and you want to see some more of them, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching my video and take care.